Welcome to Byte Further. In today's video, you'll learn what to do when your iPhone 7 won't enter recovery mode. When your iPhone 7 has software problems or forgot the passcode, entering recovery mode to update iOS or perform a restore can save your life. But it can be frustrating when your iPhone 7 won't go into recovery mode. You hold the power and volume buttons but the device keeps booting into iOS. It just skips over the recovery mode manual, returns back to the Apple logo screen, and then powers back on. Sometimes, it also proceeds to dial the emergency SOS instead of getting into recovery mode. Whether it's simply related to buttons, cord or application, a glitched or outdated software, or something else, this video guide will help troubleshoot the problem efficiently. Now, follow the steps in the presented order until you manage to fix iPhone 7 not entering recovery mode. Don't forget to give this video a like or a super thanks if you think this video is good and helps. Now, let's start. Step 1. The correct way to enter recovery mode. Start by trying the correct steps to put an iPhone 7 into recovery mode. Just in case some of you might not know the correct steps and the order. Alright now, get a Windows or Mac OS computer, be it laptop or desktop. Open iTunes or Apple Devices app after installing it. If you use a MacBook or iMac with Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or later, open the Finder software. Then, use a verified cable to connect your iPhone 7 to the computer firmly. To enter recovery mode, it's required to press a combination of button presses. Press and hold both the volume down button on the left side and power button on the right side for at least 15 seconds. You should see the phone turn off and show an Apple logo. When it displays a black screen with a link, a laptop, and a cable, you manage to enter recovery mode and just release both buttons. Next, just head to the computer to do an iOS update or system restore as you wish. Step 2. Switch the cable or computer. Ensure the cable is in good condition and works well to let the computer and software contact with your iPhone 7 smoothly. You can test the cord by using another mobile phone and see if your computer can detect it. If so, switch another cable to test again until you make sure it's working. Meanwhile, some computer doesn't support the installation of iTunes, Apple Devices app and Finder. For example, the Chrome OS and Linux. If you use them, your iPhone 7 won't get into recovery mode. Just change to another computer that runs Windows or Mac OS. When you're finished, attempt to enter recovery mode again. If you see a black screen displaying a computer and a cord, along with a message saying something about Apple support, then it's the restore screen and you're good to go. If you still can't get into recovery mode on iPhone 7, move to the next step. Step 3. Update the program to its latest version. Aside from the cord and computer, the application you use also matters. They could be outdated, get corrupted or fail to detect iPhone 7 after you press the buttons. As a result, the restore screen with computer and cord supposes to come up but it finally goes back to Apple logo and restarts instead. To rule out this possibility, consider changing another application. For example, if you use iTunes, try using the Apple Devices app instead. Remember to test if you can get iPhone 7 to go into recovery mode after the change. Step 4. Force restart your iPhone 7. A force restart can help clear temporary glitches that might interfere with the operating system and cause an iPhone 7 to refuse to go into recovery mode. To force restart your iPhone 7, press both the volume down button on the left side and power button on the right side and hold them for around 10 seconds. When you see an Apple logo appearing, release both buttons and let it boot up. Next, connect your iPhone 7 to a computer and test if it can enter recovery mode successfully. Step 5. Update iOS through Settings app if you can. If you're still able to access the Settings app, try to install the latest iOS into your iPhone 7. There might be an official fix included in the latest iOS when your iPhone 7 is not entering into recovery mode. Alright, to update your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, go to the Settings app. Scroll down to Find and tap General. Choose Software Update. Tap Download and Install if there is an update release available. After the update, try to put your iPhone 7 into recovery mode again to see if it works this time. Step 6. Erase iPhone 7 through iCloud.com. Still can't get iPhone 7 to go into recovery mode? Try its alternative way, iCloud's Find My feature. 
Whether you intend to solve system errors or unlock the forgotten passcode, it helps by erasing everything on the phone and letting you regain access to the device. Here's what you need to do. Go to iCloud website iCloud.com in any browser. Sign in with your iPhone 7's Apple ID and password. You'll also need to enter two-factor verification code if enabled. Once logged in, choose Find My or Find iPhone option. In the next page, you should see a list of devices that are linked the current Apple ID. Find your iPhone 7 name and select it. Then, hit Erase this iPhone to fix iPhone 7 not going into recovery mode. Choose Erase again and finish the following instructions. After that, the erase process will begin as long as your iPhone 7 has a working network signal. Once done, you manage to perform a factory reset even though you can't get into recovery mode on iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. That's all for how to fix an iPhone 7 that won't go into recovery mode. If you find this video helpful, please buy a super thanks for this video and give this video a like. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more useful videos to help those in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.